after months of waiting and speculating and wondering where is some of your favorite Zeus shows like Jocelyn's Cabaret. And if you were wondering about the next season of Baddies, shows like that, we got it all covered right here. And you better believe we're going to talk about it. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here or you have not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. Also support the channel by clicking the thumbs up button and giving us a like. And last but not least, join the conversation. I would love to hear from you what you think about this little story here that we got going on. Okay, so look, we talked about it here on the show. We've been wondering, where is the number one show on the Zeus Network? Jocelyn's Cabaret, right? Well, we're finding out season four is here. Also, we're finding out a little bit about Baddies East. That is going to be season four next season um coming right after baddies west which we just recapped the whole season on the after show if you missed that make sure you go back and check out some of those um and we're currently talking about bad boys uh texas no word on what next season's going to be where they're going i don't think they're even thinking about that right now until bad boys texas finish finishes but they released zeus officially released their summer spring lineup for some of their upcoming shows that they're bringing down the pipeline. Let's start with my favorite, which I already know, which is Jocelyn's Cabaret, which by the way, what is your favorite show on the on the Zeus Network? I feel like my YouTube channel has become just like a Zeus Network <laughs> page at this point, I'm trying to pivot and do other things. It's just, um, I like watching this trashy ass reality TV with y'all. It's fun, right? It's fun. So let me know what, your favorite show is on the network. I like Jocelyn Cabaret, Jocelyn's Cabaret. That's my favorite because the producing is so much more, it, it just flows, you know what I'm saying? Versus what we see with baddies, anything Natalie Nunn produced, no shade to Natalie. Um, 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 so this is where I wanted to begin. If you remember when I did a video months back go back go back go back the receipts are there i told you guys i had the tea on the johnson's cabaret season four and that it was going to be in new york city and if they weren't filming then film uh filming was gonna be coming soon you know i'd seen that some places and it looks like it was true it looks like season four is going to be taking place in new york city um, you know, we've been waiting a while. We've been waiting a while. The streets were talking, but it was worth the wait. Um, now let me say, tell y'all this. <laughs> I don't know if y'all thought about this, but I immediately thought, oh, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, if you think you're going to talk to them New York City girls the way you talk to them Miami and them, uh, Las, Las Vegas girls, you got another thing coming because baby, from what I've seen and know about the New York girls. Okay, where are my New York girls at? Where are my New York girls at? Um, yeah, the New York girls is not going to let Jocelyn call them in. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some in the bunch that will. And maybe the show will air and the whole cast does. Let's her talk to them like trash. I'll be shocked. But if these girls are going to be from New York, I forget a lot of them are going to be... I forget that they, when they cast, they get people from all over the country, but I'm assuming they're going to have some New York girls there. Now, if you want to be a part of, um, well, before I get into that, before I get into that, how do y'all feel about Johnson's Cabaret season four being in New York City? I'm excited because here's the thing. None of these shows, I don't think any Zeus show has ever been based in New York. They've never done anything from Bobby's show to Batty. Nothing has been based in New York. It's always on the East Coast. I mean, it's all, I'm sorry, it's always on the West Coast or it's always in the South. Um, Atlanta, Miami, LA, Vegas, those are the big spots. We don't ever see any filming in New York. So I'm excited that they're doing it somewhere different. I think it's gonna bring a different vibe, a different feel. Let me know if you are excited about season four. It's right around the corner. It's gonna be here in the summer. Um, I'm I'm thinking June, July, August ish, somewhere in there. The sum the summer. Um, so let's get into season four of 
Baddies, which is Baddies East. Now, if you want to be a part of Baddies East, if you're watching and you want to be a part of that madness that we talk about each and every week, if you want me to be up here talking about you each and every week, um, go, go audition May the 12th in DC. Okay. Y'all forgive me. I'm a little, I seem a little off. I smoked a blunt before this, but listen, we're going to get through it. Okay. So May the 12th in DC, Baddies East is holding auditions. Not sure why the auditions are in DC and not New York city, but Hey, it is what it is. If you want to do it, Go do it. If you're going to, please comment and let me know. I would love to know if one of our um, subscribers, one of our viewers here, one of you guys are going and you can fill me in on the tea. You can let us know what happened when you got there, who you saw, what was, you know, give us the scoop here. Okay, I need y'all. So if you're going, I know we gotta have somebody that's gonna go to this audition. Who's in the DC DMV area that's gonna go? Um, we need somebody to go. And who knows, you might end up making it and we'll be talking about you here, okay? But listen, here's the thing. I think Stevie Wonder could have seen that season four was gonna be Baddies East. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't like, oh my God. Um, I mean, it was, apparent, it was apparent because they did Baddies South. First of all, let me break it down like this. They did Baddies ATL, which was shit and sort of flopped, but then it did well enough because people were excited about the show had a lot of momentum, so it did well enough that they did a season two. I'm giving y'all the tea here, okay? Season two comes around. Batty South does ex astronomical numbers. That's when Krishan comes on board. So Krishan is to, I don't want to say she's a lot of these success because it's a um, ensemble thing, but that's where Krishan's career catapulted was from that. And then the blue face thing was happening at the same time. And then... Um, my mind went blank. So, Baddies South did great. And of course, it was renewed for the third season. And then we get Baddies West. So, we go from Baddies South to Baddies West. Now they got this thing going. They've got all this success. It only makes sense to do what? Baddies East. Why would you do Baddies North? Because someone had said, what about Baddies North? Why would you do Baddies North over Baddies East? When you think of East Coast, you think of, you know, tough. So it only makes sense to do Baddies East. I'm assuming they're going to be in New York, the DMV area, New Jersey, you know, Philly, places like that. So, um, look, I'm here for it. I'm not going to act like I'm not excited for it because if I wouldn't, I wouldn't be up here each and every Sunday night doing the after shows with y'all. I just hope and pray that someday that they'll get their stuff together when it comes to the creativity of it all behind it. Y'all already know what I mean. We don't got to get into another spiel about it, but I just hope we get, you know, more than the fighting nonstop. Like, please give us some layers to these women. Show us a little bit more. That's all I'm asking for. Um... Do y'all think after Baddies East, they will do a Baddies North? What cities do y'all think? Um, cause there, I, you know, I do think after they do Baddies East, if they do a Baddies North, after that, it's time to reroute and restructure and figure out what direction they're going to take this show. You know what I'm saying? Because after Baddies North, what are y'all going to do? But Natalie said at one point, oh, we're taking it international. What are you going to do? A baddie's Paris and just have girls running reckless through fucking, you know, what is it? The Eiffel Tower and shit. Baddie's London. I don't know if we want to see that unless you're going to go and rent a really, really luxurious Airbnb in Paris or London. Get some baddies that we don't know. Get some baddies that we don't know from here in America or wherever. And... Put them in a house in these, in do baddies Paris, do baddies Dubai, put them in a house, um, well not Dubai, Lord, shall they be arrested by the end of the damn first day filming. Okay, y'all get what I'm saying, do these baddies international cities, but put a group of young girls who are, you know, want to be on TV, 
claim they're bad girls, that type of thing. Not thirsty, but want to be, you know, have TV aspirations, you know. Um, put them in a house. Put them in an Airbnb and film that. You don't have to add all this touring and shit. Granted, I've enjoyed Batty South and West, and I'm sure each is going to be great. I'm just saying, after that, they have to reroute and figure out, what are we going to do with this show? Y'all cannot, Zeus, if you're watching, listen to me. I'm not Carlos King, no. But... There's got to, there's, there's, we got to do something. We can't continue to tour the world because eventually the momentum's going to die down for that too. People are not going to want to watch, are going to want to come to the clubs year after year after year to see the same thing when you've already done it. Um, do y'all want to see them go to a different country and do it baddie style, like baddie um, Ireland or something where they're in the tour bus going to different clubs? I don't want to see it because it's just it's getting tired. It was good these first few seasons. I've enjoyed it, and I think I'm I think I've got enough in me for one more season. But after that, we don't want to. I don't want to see any more. Y'all, let me know what you think. Your opinion is important. You know, I always say that around here. I love to read, even though if I don't respond to some of your comments, I do read them. Um, oh. So, or also, by the way, let me know if you disagree with me or agree with me when it comes to what they should do with the brand and the show moving forward after season three and four. What would you do with the show? Do you like the style they're going? Do you like, do you want them to kind of go back to a bad girls club style? I know it's not bad girls club, but I think they would have more success if they just did it put these girls in a house together and let it play out without all the setup and the drama of it all. Of course, the fights, but y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying, shit. And Natalie, please step behind the camera next season. I know people get mad at me when I say that. Somebody said, it's her show. She don't want to step behind the camera. She don't have to. But I'm just like, if we're getting a fresh cast every season, why does Natalie have to be involved? And why I wish she would just produce it because sometimes it's just listen i love natalie at times but at times i don't um do y'all want her to stay around i just i'm i'm ready for her to, to move on as well um it's just predictable when she's involved and she feels like the host of the show at this point i guess keep her on hell and she just hosted every year the baddies west reunion is coming in may i don't know if y'all have seen that or not there's no official date on it. There's no official word, like as far as the exact date. There might be one, but I didn't see it. So if y'all know it, put that in the comments for me so we know that. Of course, they're going to make you wait a few weeks because they know when Baddies West ended, oh, people are going to go cancel their subscription. But if we make them wait, you know, make them wait a few weeks because we let them know the reunion's coming. Y'all go cancel y'all subscription and I'll keep you posted on Bad Boys here. And then we can resubscribe when the reunion airs. How about that? And I'll keep my subscription and I'll keep y'all posted on Bad Boys. Um, okay. Let's talk about... Oh, by the way, with Baddies East, no official word on the cast yet. Only because, I mean, they're doing auditions May 12th. Don't forget, um, NDC... I'm sure Natalie's got it on her Instagram. If you want to go and audition and be be our informant and come back and fill us in on how it went. But yeah, no official word on the casting. I'm assuming it'll be Natalie Rowley and Scotty, seeming as that was that's what they talked about in the finale of Baddies West. However, I wouldn't put surprise. I would not be surprised if Natalie said, fuck you bitches, and she just cleared the slate and didn't bring Scotty or Rolly back. We know how Natalie is. We know how Natalie is. Okay, let's talk about other shows on now, the network. Another show that they are promoting that is coming soon is Crazy in Love, Blueface and Krishan season two. Y'all can keep that. <laughs> Y'all can keep that. We don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I'm pretty sure the viewers don't want to see it. A few of Krishan's diehard fans probably want to see it. That's about it. But listen, to me, it was boring. It was toxic. There was no storylines. It had no substance. 
like, I'm just being real. And it was hard for me to watch and do the after show each and every Sunday. Because I just wasn't that involved. I tried. And don't get me wrong, there were some moments or maybe a few episodes that I did like. Maybe like two. Um, but they just dropped the ball here. Because again, you had a chance to... to you had this really successful show that you could have really made something out of and really told us the story of who these people are. And instead, you just exploited the drama and the fights of it all. Of course, it's Zeus Network. But come on now. What are we doing? We don't want to see a season two. Do y'all want to see a season two? I don't want to see a season two. I really don't. Like, they didn't even have confessionals. They didn't even have confessionals or interviews. The little talking heads. They didn't even have that. How are we supposed to know as the audience? How are you supposed to tell us your story if you don't have a confessional or an interview? I mean, it was pretty much a documentary at this point. A documentary on domestic violence in relationships. So we're good on another season of Crazy in Love, season two. Now, it's coming. They've already said it. My word don't mean shit. Your word don't mean shit, apparently. So it's coming. Are we going to watch it? Are we going to review it? Yes, I probably will. Here's the thing. I'm going to... No, I'll take that back. I'm allowed to change my mind, okay? Am I going to watch it? I'm going to watch the trailer first. And if the trailer incites me and pulls me in, we'll watch it. If y'all want me to watch it and it incites you and it pulls you in when the trailer is released, we will watch it together. We will do an after show. We'll do a recap. We'll do all that. But I just don't know. So if it's anything like last season, I don't want to recap it. I don't want to after show it. I don't want to watch it. Um, now, I did see in the comments where people were asking Zeus if they're doing another season of Real Chance at Love. That was the dating show with Chance from the VH1 shows I Love New York, um, Real Chance at Love. Um, not Real Chance at Love. But what's it? What, did the, what was the VH1 version? Um... I don't know, but he had a twin brother, or he had a twin, not a twin, God, y'all, I'm all over the place, not a twin, he had a brother who was on these VH1 dating shows with him, and they ended up getting a spinoff together, y'all know who Chance is, if you don't know, he was on VH1, and that's where we originally met some of these other Zeus stars from, like Roly and Slim, I, granted, I don't think Slim would have made it onto Baddies had it not been for Roly. I think they wanted their friendship. I think Roly could have made it on their solo, but I don't think Slim could have made it without Roly. Um, do y'all want another season of Real Chance at Love? I've never watched the show before, but I've heard it's entertaining. I think I watched like maybe some clips on Instagram and it looked like it had some funny moments. And if it does come on again, we will watch it. We will do after shows and recap it. I just wasn't watching Zeus at that time when his show was airing. Um, but, you know, I hope it gets another season. I hope it I hope it does. I mean, look, Chance has been online tagging Zeus saying they need another season, but Zeus is throwing Chance to the curb right now. He's at the bottom of the totem pole for them. I don't think they're really thinking about Chance. I mean, they're making all this money off Bobby Lights, Natalie Nunn, Jocelyn Hernandez, um, you know, the bad boys. Um Excuse me, Blueface and Krishan. They got all these heavy hitters that they're working with, bringing in all this money, and they're just like, "Who? Who is that on the phone?" Chance. Oh, tell tell him. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Back to count. Blueface, Krishan. Hey, how you doing, Natalie? You know, let's just call it what it is. I don't think they're studying Chance right now. I think his show did good. I think his show did good. It was successful, but it wasn't Baddies successful. It wasn't Blueface and Krishan, you know, hype fandom of it all. Because when Natalie Nunn moved over to Zeus, she brought in all these different Bad Girls Club fans like you and I. Why are they going to film another season of Real Chance at Love when they've got all these other shows that are just making them money? And we've seen that Zeus can't really juggle more than one or two shows at a time. Um, and I feel like Bobby Lights also kind of took Chance's place in a way when he did his dating show. They're like, they got this new, and I know they've done multiple dating shows, but 
Bobby's was successful. I think, if anything, they're going to renew a Bobby I Love You Purr Season 2 before they renew a Real Chance at Love Season 3. Or 4, whatever. I don't know how many seasons he had. I think it was two. Um, would you rather see Bobby I Love You Purr Season 2? Or would you rather see Real Chance at Love Season 3 or 4? Y'all let me know. And, I, I mean, I want Chance to come back. I, I would rather see a Bobby I Love You Purr Season 2 only because I relate to that more being a gay male. Um, but I also would like to see Chance's show come back because it was entertaining too. And look, I think I think Chance needs the money. Honestly, no shade. I'm not his accountant, but what else does Chance do for money? I don't think he, unless he has a nine to five we don't know about, but please fill me in if y'all know anything. I just want the show to, I want the show to come back. I want him to be successful. He can make some money off of it. You know, reality TV has been his career pretty much. And Zeus, y'all need to hire hire another production team have one film in jocelyn's cabaret over here in new york have another camera crew and team of producers filming baddies east over here have another over here in miami filming um bobby i love you Park. you know what i'm saying like y'all got the budget the budget should be like here now because zeus is making money they're making money money that let me tell y'all zeus was like in the top 10 of the like you know in the app store when you've got like Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix, number three, number four. Zeus was up there, like above Netflix at one point, I believe. That's crazy. Maybe not Netflix. It was Hulu, Disney Plus, one of those networks. That is crazy. That's crazy. So you know they're making money. Because of them giving us one show a week for $5.99 a month is crazy. I'm not trying to be cheap because five ninety nine is not a lot of money, um, especially in today's world. Five ninety nine is a cheeseburger, barely not even a cheeseburger. Hell, the fries is five ninety nine. But for us, for y'all to give us one show a week, these other networks like now that's TV, and these just these other big these big streaming platforms that you're competing with, that you're in this top ten with Zeus, they've got so much other content. You know, they were in the top 10. I don't know if that's changed, but they were. But these other platforms have so much up, more content for us to watch versus one new episode a week. Like, you need to be you need to be giving us something consistently new every single week. I understand having a break here and there, but... So, what shows are y'all excited about in the Zeus Network upcoming spring, summer lineup? What is your favorite? What are you most excited about? Are you excited about Baddies East season four coming soon? Are any of y'all going to go audition? Go check out those auditions, May 12th in DC. If you go, let us know in the comments. What do you think about Jocelyn's Cabaret, New York City coming? Are you excited about that? Are you excited about it being in New York? Um, and do you want to see another season? Um, look, I'm stoked. I'm here for it. Um, also, Blueface and Krishan, Crazy in Love. Season two, do you want to see another season of that? Or are you like me and over it and tired of it and ready for it to go to the trash where it belongs? Um, or hey, are you here for another season of it? Do you want to watch Blueface and Krishan fight every episode and cry over who's fucking who? Also, do you want to see Real Chance at Love come back? And would you rather see Real Chance at Love come back first or Bobby I Love You Purr? Let me know in the comments your thoughts, opinions, reads, everything in between. I love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and we will see you next time when we do the Bad Boys Episode 2 After Show. Love you guys.